Hello everybody, this is Howard the Teaser King coming to you with week four of the NFL. Uh, I had a big week last week going eight and one in the NFL. Um, closed it with three teasers on Green Bay. Green Bay at home is just dynamite, especially in a teaser. The lock one, easily Arizona, blowing out San Francisco and uh, Carolina beating New Orleans, which got a little bit closer than I thought, but Still, we got the W. Uh, Arizona, to me, is the best team in the league, especially at home. The 49ers, I think, are terrible. Uh, they had to wear the Notre Dame black jerseys to win the first week at home. Um, they get on the road, and they lose by 40 each game. Um, then Kaepernick threw more, more interceptions than he did completions for most of the game. Uh, that Cardinal defense is just something else. By far the best defense, best secondary, uh, and you get a guy like Kaepernick who doesn't know what he's doing. He's just going to get killed. Um, so anyway, it was a beautiful, beautiful play. Uh, so what I do now is I'm starting to look at who needs the game. I'm looking at their records. You know, do who needs the game, but who can take advantage of the fact they need the game. Um, in other words, I look at uh, Seattle, Detroit. Let's start off there. Seattle's laying nine and a half, ten, ten and a half. Detroit's off three losses in a row. They need the game, but they're not going to be able to do anything about it. They're going to Seattle. They're terrible on the West Coast. They're going to get killed. Um, Seattle also needs the game. They only got one win, and Arizona's three and zero. Oh. They can't afford to lose this game. It's a Monday night. Seattle, Detroit travels terribly. Uh, they're 0-3, and they're going to be 0-4. Take Seattle. They win by at least 10 points. Um, again, in the teaser lane four, it's, you got them under a touchdown. It's great. But uh, I don't like uh, straight up late over 10. <laughs> I, don't, I never like to lay more than 10 in the pros. But I think in this case, they probably could handle 14 or 17. Um, who else needs the game? So when you go down the list, uh, you've got, uh, uh, let's see. Well, Indy needs the game, but does Indy, is Indy capable of winning? Uh, they scored three touchdowns last week to beat Tennessee. They were getting blown out at Tennessee last week. So here's where the problem arises. How bad is Indy? They're, they obviously have offensive line issues, just team chemistry, trying to play together. Here they're laying 9.5, 10 to Jacksonville. Normally this would be a lock. I'd love Indy at home against the team they own. Uh, they should handle them, but they're so weak, I don't know if they can handle them. Uh, it might be a small bet on Indy, but I'm certainly not going to lock it until Indy shows me that they can come alive and, and win. Now, this is the game they normally win in the division at home. Um, right now, they're the favorite in this game is 8-2, and two, but Jacksonville is 9-1 and one in this series at Indy, the last 10, in a teaser. So, be careful with that. Um, now a game I would I would lock every year is the Jets in Miami. The Jets are laying about two, maybe one and a half, maybe a two and a half. Please shop around. Now the game they're messing with me is in London. Every trend I got is is take the dog. Um, the dog is 19 and one the last 20 in this series. I lock the dog every year. Now you're putting the freaking game in London. I'm, are you serious? So it looks like this is the would be the Miami game, which really doesn't matter. Um, except for Miami gets screwed out of a home game. And they got to travel to London, which screws up everything because then the teams are tired. I think they probably get buys next week, but it just throws you off. That you know, I've been to Europe, and it's a very tiring plane ride and the whole thing. You're getting used to it. Uh, you know, it's just a little bit different. So this would normally be a lock Miami and eight. I'll play Miami and eight, but I won't lock it, unfortunately. Uh, for some reason in this series, 
and you can see it's 19 and 1. The dog covers. I mean, last year the Jets were at Miami getting points. They won straight out. Miami goes to the Jets getting points. They win straight out. I've never seen anything like it. But this is why I do trends. This is the point of doing the trend. Is to stumble on a trend like this. Nobody in their right mind would trend this game like this. They try to read all the stuff. But here you go. The dog in this series, 19 and one. So you can't mess with that trend. You get a 19 and one trend. You don't. You just go with it. Uh, this is why I say it matters about team personality. The Jets played Philly last week, and the Jets looked great beating Indy, and Philly looked terrible losing to Dallas. So they make the Jets favored. Well, the Jets, as a home favorite, are terrible. Had the Jets been a home dog, they'd probably win the game. I know it's strange, and I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but they know the spread. So the team knows if they're favorite or they know if they're dog. So as soon as you make the Jets a three-point favorite, <laughs> Philly wins the game. Go, go figure out that because they easily beat Indy, and yet against Philly, they get blown out. So, again, you're just, it's all matchups, and it's all psychology. So when a team is favored when they should be dog, or they're not used to being favored, they, they can't handle it. So the Jets obviously can't handle being favored at home against the weak Philly team. And that, uh, so that's, that's what I mean. That's why I want to make sure where the teams are. Um, so we got Miami, we got Seattle. Let's see. Uh, Buffalo Lane, six to the NYG Giants, Giants, Giants. Uh, or the G Man, as the real fans like to call them. Um, I like the Giants in this game all over the place. Uh, McCoy, is hamstring, let's say he doesn't play, it doesn't matter. This game will be very close. Giants could easily win it. Way too many points. Buffalo is not a home favorite, they're a home dog. Uh, just looking at, you know, week one, Buffalo wins as a home dog. Week week two, they get favored against New England. They get blown out. Here they're favored against the Giants. They're, they'd be lucky to win the game. It's They're a comfortable home dog. They're not comfortable being a home favorite. There's something mentally, psychologically about we're supposed to win versus we're the dog and we have no pressure and we do win. That's my key for betting, and it works, and it's been working for 40 years. Here you got Buffalo. There's, take the Giants as the dog, and 11 and a half points, that's a joke. Now here's another one, Oakland Lane 3 to Chicago. Oakland's a dog. They're a home dog to Cincy. They're a dog at Cleveland. All of a sudden, they go to Chicago, and everybody thinks Chicago's so bad with the injuries, and they make Oakland the favorite here. Oakland is not ready to be a road favorite here. You can't take Oakland here. They might win the game, but are they comfortable being the road favorite? I see the Bears could, not easily, but they could win this game. Um, I think the Bears are a terrible team, but it's just Oakland's not the right team to be favorite in Chicago. We had Green Bay, and Green Bay won by six points. or It, it was fairly close against Green Bay in Chicago. I don't see Oakland going there and they'll be lucky to win. If they do, it'll be a field goal. But this is my point here. Don't get all, you can't play Oakland as a road favorite here. You can play them as a home favorite, maybe. They're a better dog, they're comfortable at that, but you can't play them as a road favorite. Uh, Well, let's go one more game. Uh, Green Bay lean eight. Or I think they're up to nine. Well, I think they're eight and a half, nine against the 49ers. Um, I like this game, but I don't love it. I would love it if Green Bay didn't just play Monday night at home and now go to the West Coast, even though they're coming from middle America, not the East Coast. It's still, you're still off a Monday night game. Uh, I know Frisco's lousy. It's a bad matchup for Frisco with the passing of Rodgers. Rodgers is going home. He went to Cal. This is a home game for Rodgers. Um, the only problem is Kaepernick kind of runs and gives Frisco a little bit of a problem. But that's all they got. I don't know what color uniforms Frisco's coming out in. 
black or, you know, are they going to come out in gold uniforms? Are they going to come out in their red uniforms? Probably not. They have to play Notre Dame gimmicks and come out with colored uniforms so they can play better because they're not professionals. Um, I like Green Bay, you know, probably to win by at least a touchdown. I don't see them blowing them out because of the Monday night game, but I do like uh, Green Bay here. There's a stat on Green Bay in a teaser as a road favorite. They're like 85% as a road favorite, and they're like 88% against them as a road favorite. So when they go on the road, they tend to win. Even when I locked them against the Bears in week one, they won. But if you took the Bears, you won. They play close games on the road. They don't blow you out. Uh, I think a lot of that is this, their defense isn't strong enough and they don't run the ball enough or as effectively enough to chew up the clock uh, and get the win. Usually the big wins on the road are defensive. Uh, like Arizona at the Bears, they, they had pick sixes and just a strong defense and shut them down. Uh, more so like that. So Frisco wins probably by seven to ten points. Uh, they sh they shouldn't lose to Frisco, um, but it'll be you know it'll be right around in there. That's just the way it gets played out. But just funny that you know Frisco will come out and maybe they'll come out in the in the green uniforms that Notre Dame wears and uh, they'll try that for a win. All right, well I have uh, two other locks going in the pros, and uh, again it, I got screwed because I would have locked. Normally Miami would be a lock this week if the game was in Miami. Uh, Indy would normally be a lock if they would have. If they didn't just screw up their whole roster, who knows what their offensive line's like. Uh, Indy probably wins the game, but you can't even trust them anymore. And, uh, and that's it. So Green Bay would have been a lock, but they're off on Monday night. Anyway, there's your picks. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you want to know games, please give me uh, an email or leave a comment. Uh, again, this is Howard the Teacher King. Uh, go to the site www.teacherking.com. I post all my history, so you can check it and you'll see every game I pick is on there in a teaser. Um, and I show you the spread and I show you the result and uh, show you the amount so you know what's happening there. Uh, well, have a good weekend and good luck to everybody and I hope you make a lot of money. Once again, www.teaserkingly.com. You can sign up for a week. You can sign up for a month. Try it out. Just uh, look at the results, and you'll see what I've done. And then, you know, you can, you know, purchase the games and make some money. All right, everybody. Take care.